The uh, weather is warming up. That means we're about to see billions and billions of cicadas emerge from the ground here in northern Illinois. It sounds gross, right? The wind takes a look at what we can expect, also what homeowners need to do to protect plants and trees. Homeowner J.D. Aders in suburban Geneva is bracing for the emergence of billions of cicadas in northern Illinois. This pit them being up on the tree or up on these little branches. The cicada enthusiast works for ChemWise Ecological Pest Management and says he's been fielding calls from families and customers asking about the invasion and what they can do to protect their homes. If you're you know outside, you have a broom, you know you can knock down any of the uh, the, the molts that are on the trees. Um, if you're you know seeing them around the the house, you could kind of sweep them away as well. Uh, they're, they're clumsy flyers. He says another thing you can do is consider netting your young trees, shrubs, and flowers. This would be something that if, uh, if I wanted to protect it, I would I would look to put the netting on. Spencer Campbell over at the Morton Arboretum telling us plans are underway for them to do the same. You can buy this in any big box store, any fabric store. You can buy them online. Experts here say you want to have your netting prepared as soon as possible. Ideally, you want to have your trees wrapped by May 1st. So the most important part is to wrap around the branches. Two broods of cicadas are expected to emerge from the ground this spring. One type has been 17 years in the making. The last emergence in northern Illinois was May 29th, 2007. We know that cicadas want soil temperatures eight inches deep to be 64 degrees. That starts to wake them up. They're going to start moving at that temperature. We know as of today, our soil temperature is 54.7 degrees. Campbell believes the cicadas could surface by mid-May, the harmless insect looking to complete its cycle and create another special site for everyone here to see. We're so excited. Yeah, it's an ecological event. It's fertilizer for our uh, wildlife here and pollinators that depend on this food source. V1 NBC5 News. See, I, I like how we frame that. Yeah. It makes it way more palatable. The positives. They're still, look at that. They're, they're just gross looking. But <laughs> we are. have continuing coverage of the cicada return on our website, NBCChicago.com, including the hints that are going to help you tell when they'll actually start to come out of the ground, other than the loud noise of yeah. all those billions of cicadas.